So I want to show you guys how to properly repair all of your Steam VR controllers and Vive trackers properly without any issues. Now, a lot of times if you have unexplained tracking issues, maybe your foot or your hand is flying away or drifting away or it's just having any sort of tracking issue, maybe it's uh, shaking really bad. Uh, this may correct any of those tracking issues. So you're going to want to first uh, delete all of your, you know, tracking or sorry, you're going to want to delete all your pairing data. So you're going to want to go to Steam, go to library. You're going to want to go here and find wherever your Steam VR is. And then right click on it, select properties. Now this little window will pop up. You're going to want to select on local files. Then you're going to want to select browse. Now, now that this window has popped up, you're going to want to head over to tools. Lighthouse, Ben, <clears throat> Win32. Then you're going to want to open up Lighthouse Console EXE. Now, I will have this in the description, or you could just follow what I'm uh, typing. It's unpair all, all together, no spaces. You're going to want to select enter. Now, nothing, there will be no confirmation, so you could go ahead and close that. You can see everything gets disconnected because all the peering info got deleted. <clears throat> From here, you could go ahead and close this window. Um, and then what you're going to want to do before you pair anything is you're going to want to unplug every Vive tracker dongle, which I am doing as I speak. Um, now you're going to want to pair the controllers first and you're going to want to make sure the controllers are first off. So, um, if your controllers are grayed out, you could right click select pair. If not, just click on this headline up here, uh, select devices, pair controller. Now I'm going to turn on the index controller. Now if you have a Vive one, you could so you could click this button here and click Vive controller. Um so for the index, I'm going to turn it on, then I'm going to press and hold the two buttons as it shows. It's going to flash blue. It'll go green. Now I'm going to select pair another controller. I'm going to grab my second controller. I'm going to do the exact same procedure. It's going to flash blue and then green. Now from here, uh, I would recommend right clicking on your headset and click restart headset. Basically just exit and reopen Steam VR, just so we don't have any issues. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and plug in only one Vive Tracker dongle. Make sure all of the other two dongles or however many you have, make sure those are all unplugged. Only keep one tracker dongle plugged in for now. Okay, now that that is all uh, started back up, sometimes Steam VR one controller will go blue and you'll lose it right on startup. So I'm just gonna wait until this controller reconnects again. It's kind of like a Steam VR bug. Just gonna let that connect. Um, in the meantime, you could just click up here, go to devices, here controller. Now, um, you're just, like I said, just make sure this one is lit up. So I'm just going to wait. Okay, there we go. Now you're going to want to click on, I want to pair a different type of controller. You're going to want to do HTC Vive tracker. Now you're going to want to grab one of your trackers. You're going to want to turn it on, let go, and then press and hold on it again until it flashes blue. Okay, now it's paired to that one dongle. Now you can go ahead and click pair another controller. Now I'm going to plug in the second dongle. So keep the first one plugged in and also keep the second one plugged in. Click I want to pair a different type of controller. Select HTC Vive Tracker again. I'm going to turn it on, let go, and then press and hold on it again until it flashes blue. Now it's paired. Now we're going to plug in the last Vive Tracker dongle, the third one. Now you may have more of them, so just do it as many times as you need. One at a time. So pair another controller. Uh, click I want to pair a different type of controller again, Vive Tracker. I'm going to turn it on again, let go, press and hold on it again. Keep holding until it flashes blue. It'll go green. Now it's connected. Um, and then the last thing that I would recommend doing is select the Steam VR headline up here again and go on settings, go to controllers. Now go to manage trackers right here. Now, it doesn't matter which order you do it, but yours will be set to held in hand. What you're going to want to do is make sure it's on anything that's not held in hand. So what I would recommend doing is set one to waist, one to right foot, and then the third one to left foot. 
if you're running up to like six or nine trackers, just, you know, if you can't select the same one, just select anything that is not held in hand. And this will pretty much just prevent your hands from swapping with your feet in game if one controller dies or whatever. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. Um, this should correct a lot of tracking issues. Um, since the controllers like to connect to the tracker dongles and stuff like that, it's just kind of like a weird issue that SteamVR has. But if there's anything else you guys want me to go over, any SteamVR issues, uh, be sure to drop it in the comments. Or you can post it on my Discord server that's also in the description. But I'll see you guys in my next video.